this first reading today, we start into the second uh, chapter of Philippians. And just immediately after this is the beautiful uh, canticle of the Philippians, which is, um, Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave. But we're not going to hear it tomorrow because tomorrow is the feast day for all, all saints. So we're going to have other readings. So it's a beautiful, beautiful reading. But um, so St. Paul is building up to that. He said, you know, if there's any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in spirit, he's talking about all these things. Uh, think one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or vainglory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves. Each looking out not for his own interest, interest but for those, everyone for those of others. And then he goes on, And so have the mind of Christ, who though he was in the form of God, emptied himself and took the form of a slave. So he's saying, don't just do this because I tell you to, but do this because this is what Christ did. Humbly emptying himself. Humbly uh, eat, looking out not for your own interests, but every one for those of others. And that's, then they chose the psalm to go along with this. The oh Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. Busy not myself with great things, nor things too sublime for me, saying, don't be focused up on these worldly great things. But focus on how to love the people around you. How to love the person that's in front of you. Humbly regard others as more important than yourselves. That's hard because I know I'm the most important in person in my life. It's so easy to fall into this trap and the Lord is saying, go beyond yourself, go beyond yourself, go beyond yourself. And we can do it for a little while and then we fail and the Lord is saying, this is where you will find your peace. Not when you're seeking yourself, but when you're reaching beyond yourself. Today, of course, being Halloween, people dress up in all sorts of different costumes and go out doing all sorts of things. Hopefully good things of just getting candy as opposed to bad things of doing other things around. But uh, there have been times when I've gone Halloween parties and stuff like that dressed as John Paul II. Um, great uh, mentor, uh, great uh, saint in our, in our own times. And I look at St. John Paul II, and I remember hearing the story that someone asked him after he'd had this incredibly busy day. I mean, you know, being as, you know, he, he wasn't, he started out as a young man, but at the end of his pontificate, he wasn't a young man. And he's going around and he's doing all these things, busy, bu busy, busy, busy. And someone said, are you tired? He says, I don't know. He was so not focused on himself, but focused on giving self, that he didn't even know how he was doing. I can say with great honesty, I've never had that problem. Please God, that I can grow in that. Humbly regarding others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also everyone for those of others.